Hello, and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge your update package files. Um, I thought I'd just make a quick video here. I was in the process of uh, going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I installed Red Dead Redemption and I wanted to get the update, so I decided I'd just make this video pretty quick. It's not very hard. We'll just go ahead and go to Orbis Patches and we'll type in Red Dead. Should come up once you get in Red Dead. Uh, depending on which version you have, you can select. I have the US version, so I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And uh, for some reason, I don't think it. There we go. Okay, so Red Dead Redemption 2. So if we scroll down here, you can see the latest firmware requires 8.52. Um, we need one that's 7.55 or below, so we just scroll down. And we can see here we can use 1.24. So we'll just go ahead and just click on that. We'll give this a few moments to load. It shouldn't take too long. And here we go. You can see that there's piece 0, piece 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to need all four pieces. Well, actually five because 0 is a piece as well. Uh, we don't need the delta package. Just ignore that. Um, so what I usually use is I use J Downloader. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to download it. Uh, I recommend it. It's super quick and super easy. So we can go ahead. As long as J Downloader is open, we can just right click on each one and just hit copy link and it'll jump down here and grab the package. So we'll do that for all of them. Okay, and then the last one, copy link. And you can see that they're all here. Now what I usually do is I want them to download into one folder instead of all these different folders. So I just select them all, right click, hit other, move to new package, and just delete the last number off the end. And the little space. Hit OK. And there you go. They're all uh they're all in one package. You can go ahead and right click, hit start download, or you can hit the play button. Um I've already had it downloaded, so it's right here. You can see that it's it's all complete, so we'll just right click, open download directory, and here we go. Okay, so now we need to merge these files into one package instead of uh, five. So we'll go ahead and close J Downloader, we don't need that. Uh, we'll just exit. Uh, we're going to use a PS4 package merge. I will leave a link in the description for this as well, um, but we'll go ahead and download that. And we can just hit open file, that is fine. And we're just going to drag these files over to here after we hit the close. So we'll just move that over and then drag these over. And then we'll just drag our package files into the package folder. And then we have them all there, that's just great. Come right back. And there is a readme here if you want to uh, read it, that is fine. But we're going to go with the merge. If you want to look at the run file just to, to see what what's in it, you can see this is the code. So it's going to grab the files from the package folder and then uh, start merging them with that. So we'll just go ahead and we can close this out now. Um, just hit run. And there we go. Everything comes up good. It uh, it detected everything fine. So this is going to take a few moments. We'll let it go. And uh, once it's done, I will be back. Okay. So it looks like we are done. Um, for some reason, my window closed out. But uh, it did all merge. Uh, if we go into our package folder, you can see our package 0 is now 18 gigs. Um, it did say successful on the uh, on the window there. Um, I'm not sure exactly why it closed out. I must have clicked something on the keyboard. But uh, yeah, we're just going to drag this over to our USB stick or our external hard drive, whichever you're going to use to install it on the PS4. We'll just go ahead and do that. And we'll give that a few moments. shouldn't take too long. Uh, and once that's done, we'll jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, um, I already have it jailbroken, so we're good to go there. 
I got my USB drive plugged in, everything finished copying. So we'll just jump over. I will show you on Red Dead. Uh, I am on version 1.0, I believe it is. Yeah, 1.0. And it is the disc. So this only works for retail games. Um, because you can't really download fake packages, and if you do download fake packages, they're always going to be one file. So we'll go ahead and we'll go down to our debug settings, and we'll go into game package installer. I have GTA there, but we're going to go ahead with the 1.24 Red Dead, and as you can see, it's starting to download. So let's give that a few moments. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, it is 18 gigs, but uh, once it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. It should be finished installing here. We'll just hit back up here. And then we'll go to Red Dead here. Go down to information. And we are on 124. So let's go ahead and just launch it. Make sure everything is working. And as you can see, everything does work. Let's just give it a few moments here just to load in to make sure we don't get any errors but uh, everything should be fine shouldn't get any errors and there we go so we're loaded in if you like the video go ahead and give us a like there if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching